Test one, two.
Runners Gaming is now hosting my stream with one viewers. Just give me one chance, one dance I fight off my anxiety to walk up to your body I ask, I ask, take my head to the dance floor Hey guys, welcome to this morning's sh show. Uh, we're going to be playing something different just now until the later on stream, which will be 1 pm GMT time, which we'll be doing our usual Warframe uh, by that time. But we're going to be playing some thing I played before, but I never. Hold on. Yeah, I never actually got a chance to kind of play it and stream it through the YouTube, which I should be able to do now because I've got that set up. Uh, as I said, my YouTube channel is doing the bottom of the panel with the YouTube kind of <laughs> logo. You can get the channel there. If not, uh, you can actually get it from... Uh, this link uh, which I'll get because even if you click on the YouTube thing it might not take you to the correct place I don't know why it's not but that's just the way it is so I think it's this webpage you need and that takes you to the live stream on YouTube. Uh, the only re as I said, the only reason why we've got the YouTube live going is because of the fact it takes it from uh, Streamlabs, like it duplicates it from Streamlabs OBS directly to uh, OBS Studio, and then OBS Studio take. Uh, YouTube and it just lets me record easier and faster and 
It's just so I don't like take space on my PC as a pre-recording kind of thing. I just thought this would be a lot easier and all that. But you can subscribe to this, like it, whatever. Uh, I don't really kind of mind too much. As I said, I'm only going to be using the YouTube Live as a way to record what I do on Twitch. So it's not really mandatory. But anyway guys, uh, I'm going to be playing a game I got a while back. Uh, I didn't expect to actually get it off Twitch, mind you. But, well, there you go. I actually bought the game previously before. The only thing is, is I only just now found out that Twitch actually gave me as the Twitch Prime sub day. I mean the Twitch Prime day or whatever you want to put that. So I was kind of disappointed, kind of, in a way, because I actually bought it and I didn't realise that's what they were going to do for Twitch Prime day. So, nothing to kind of worry or bother too much about. Uh, start this up and let's get some capture so, as I said I've already completed this game before so You can see I've already kind of done that there. years ago, monsters raged across Victusia. They destroyed farms, decimated the dwindling animal population, and attacked our people on sight. Famine and death swept the land. No one had dared to hunt and cook monsters for centuries, fearing their cursed flesh. It was then that King Heinrich and Chef Robichon delivered Victusia from the brink of extinction. Together, they built the finest culinary institution this world has ever seen. The Battle Chef Brigade. A legion of elite soldier chefs on the frontier of the culinary world. Now, battle chefs across the land stand as our protectors and providers, bringing monster cuisine from hunt to table. As summer begins, so does our tournament drawing forth the next generation of culinary warriors. What new styles of cooking will we witness this year? What tantalizing dishes will be revealed? This year's tournament is sure to be our fiercest yet. Hold on, let me just uh, put this, light, this back on you own. Actually, there is only going to be six scenes to this, so it's quite quick. But it depends on how quick we actually play the game, that's the thing. Because once you get to about uh, four, five, and six, it gets a bit more intense. I'm off to the market. Don't buy the blue squiggle again. It tasted spoiled last time. I'll ask the brigadiers about it. Where's Saskia? Trying to wake Mina up. She just keeps saying ten more minutes. 
Mina, get down here now. Saskia, let's go. We're already late. Mina, if you don't come down this instant. I'm up. Stop yelling. Is the restaurant on fire or something? You know it's busiest on Fridays? Finish that Karana Mabo Tofu order for table two. <sighs> All right. Ma, these ingredients taste a bit off to me. A couple of things we got from the market were strange. Not sure what's going on. One bow run noodle soup. On it. Just a, just a little bit like Tetris in a way. stayed up training for the brigade again, didn't you? Uh, it was Saskia's idea. Ha, <laughs> I suppose it was Saskia's idea the last ten times, too. You know, your father and I would love you to apply, but we need you here. We're not going to be around forever, and your sister isn't even married. <sighs> Ma, please. Ah, I just saw Simon outside. Go gather some fresh ingredients. He looks like he's in the mood for something off-menu. I can always tell by how much he's slouching. His standards aren't that high. A 50-point dish should do. Uh. 
Okay, okay, that's enough tweaking. My stomach can't handle another five. Hey, Mina, got a new experiment for me to try? That's 102, that's better than what I had last time. Hey, Phoenix. You bet. Only the finest from our backyard. Dig in. It's horrible. Oh, bleh. What? There can't be. I tasted it myself. <laughs> nah, it's actually good. But I have to keep your ego in check. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Oh, Simon, it looks like we'll need some extra satchels of grain and flour. We're running through it a lot faster than expected. Mina, go over to Simon so he doesn't have to make a double trip. I really don't mind. You live so close by. Hush, I'll go. Give this money to his father when you get there. Thank you, Mrs. Han. Be back in a flash. Simon, wait. Before we get there, I need to tell you something. Uh, this is a uh, chef brigade. Oh, well, actually, wait. Battle chef brigade. What's up? I'm not going to be around for a while. Ha! <laughs> Did you get grounded for brigade training again? This isn't a joke. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to run away from home. <laughs> <laughs> Mina, I think you're way too old for that now. I'm not throwing a tantrum. Mom and Dad will never let me leave for the brigade. If I wait for their permission, I'll be stuck cooking the same recipes for the same people forever. That's not necessarily true. You could change up the menu. When I make it in, I'll get to travel the land and learn about everything in the world of food. That's more than I could ever do here. You're serious then? Dead serious. I've got what it takes and I'm not growing enough around here where everyone's happy just doing the same old stuff. Well? <laughs> Your mom is gonna flip. And the only person who scares me more than my dad is your mom. Couldn't you wait till the restaurant picks back up a bit? It hasn't been doing so great lately. Plenty of new travelers will be passing through on their way to the proving tournament. They'll be fine. You don't own a coin your parents haven't given you first. How are you gonna... Mina Han, you rogue. <laughs> now I'm gonna be an accomplice. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. This money is just enough to apply and a bit extra. Think you could help a neighbor out and spot me some flour? I don't like this. But how can I refuse my favorite neighbor? Thank you, Simon. Uh, we should get going. Our parents are going to be annoyed that we're taking so long. God of Barley, give me strength. You're my I'll name a dish after you in the tournament. I didn't think it would go that far. Before I go, how about one more practice, hey Kiki? Sure. Why don't we practice with wind magic one last time? Alright. We should have some time before Ma gets back from Auntie's house. I can't believe our little Mimi is all grown up. <sighs> it's really happening. Thank <laughs> you. 
before I forget. Did you pack enough underwear? <laughs> Why would you ask that? What? I think so. Remember, I gave you some of Dad's stationery. I want you to write every week. Kiki, stop acting like Mom. Hey, I have to make sure I'm not allowing you out to die in a ditch somewhere. Well, I'll have plenty of underwear and stationery with me in that ditch. <sighs> All right, you better get going. <laughs> Thanks, Kiki. You have no idea what this opportunity means to me. Oh, I know. Don't screw up. And here, take this cookie jar with you. A little reminder of home. <laughs> they say it's good luck for that to happen when you first come into town. Huh? That's gross. Who says that? It's a capital thing. I'm Thrash, by the way. You're looking to register for the tournament, aren't you? Oh, yes. I'm Mina. Nice to meet you. How'd you know I was here for the tourney? Dude, <laughs> That's a knife bag at your side. And you've got a panhandle sticking out of the back of your satchel. Right. <laughs> Marking the other contestants is easy. You can sense a special aura about them burning with excitement. <laughs> Look at me getting all worked up. Anyway, this is the back of the line. Up there with the pink-haired woman is where we register. Wow. That's a lot of contestants. This isn't even the half of it. I hear there's somewhere around 50 hopefuls. That's so awesome. But this line, yeesh. I just walked 30 miles and I don't have the energy for this. Well, you can cut in front of me if you like. Really? You're so kind, thanks. Okay, this isn't gonna do. Time for some Mina magic. Huh? I'll see you around. Gotta go. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Just trying to get through. There we go. Next. Hey, she cut. Hi, I'm here for the... It'll be 10 gold to register. Yes, I have that. Here you go. Take this form and fill it out. Hand it to the gentleman to my right. Next! Mina Han. Age, 21. Title? Let's see... Well, Simon always calls me the Iron Stomach since I can eat anything. Done! Here is your registration number. Don't lose it. If you do, tough bricks. Tomorrow, your orientation is at 6 a.m. And the opening ceremony is at 4 p.m. Six a.m. I better go find a place to stay and rest up. Well, well, well. Good afternoon. Room for one. How much per night? Two gold a night, and we have complimentary breakfast here. My wife cooks up a storm. If you're here for the tournament, you can stay for the entirety of the competition for 20. It's a steal. Perfect. Although, that leaves me with nothing left, and what if I get eliminated early? No, I'm not gonna get kicked out. I can do this. If you need to scrounge up some change, you could always do one of the jobs available in town. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. That'll do. Enjoy your stay and break a dish. What? 
Oh, it's probably another saying. Let me show you to your room. Wow, this is really nice. We do our best. I'll let you get settled in. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you, sir. Maybe I'll just take a small nap. Time is it? Curious. Interesting. Good morning, lad. Excuse me. Oops. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. No, I wasn't looking where I was going. There's quite a few smells wafting around here, of the unbathed nature. I just got in yesterday myself. I'm registered for the tournament and everything. I'm me- Wait a second. Oh no. Oh no! I slept through orientation! Oh my. Well, if you need someone to get you up to speed, I'd be happy to help. I'm- Mina! That would be so great! We can use the practice kitchen so you're not going into things cold tomorrow. I'll act as your referee. But first, let's find you an opponent. Good day. Huh? How's it going? Yeah, just towards you for this one. Let's talk. Thrash, I was wondering if you'd like to get a little practice in. How about it? Sure. I live for cooking battles. We should have just enough time before the opening ceremony, and you won't want to miss that! Good. I see you've found a partner. Let's head to the practice kitchen and get started. Let's do this! Yeah, the eyes show tournaments can get a bit hectic. exactly do I need to do to make it into the brigade? You must challenge other chefs in town to matches similar to this. Official matches are carried out in the Kitchen Coliseum, overseen by Chairman Common and the judges. Contestants must earn seven wins to enter the final round. Chefs with three losses are eliminated. Well, that won't happen to us, right Mina? No way! We're going to make it to the final round. <clears throat> yes. As for the cooking itself, there are three things to avoid if you don't want to lose points during judging. First, always incorporate the match's theme ingredient in your dishes. Second, make sure to place your dishes in front of the judges within the time limit. Third, don't leave anything harmful to the judges in your ingredients, like poison. There's also a way to gain points, and that's by using ingredients that match the judge's taste preferences. All right, I think I got it. Let's do this. Very well. Provide me with a dish predominantly flavored with earth. And your theme ingredient for this round is... Karana. I never thought I'd get to say this, but in the words of Chairman Common, Vive la Brigade!
So I like it. Well done, you two. Let's see what we have here. Wonderful. Excellent work. It is with pride I announce our winner is Mina. Congratulations! Yeah! I was hoping this would calm me down, but now I'm more excited for the tournament to start than before. That was a great warm-up. Mina, you're a strong competitor. Really? Mm-hmm. You're so serious while cooking. It's admirable, but don't get too tense. I can see your mind racing in a million directions. Don't forget to breathe. It's funny how I forget to do that when I'm concentrating really hard. I've never battled against chefs from all around the country before. Just think of all the different cuisines and techniques assembled here for the tournament. It's a taste of the world. Speaking of which, I think I hear some music starting up. Let's... Welcome, one and all. Victusia opens its arms to the world for the annual Battle Chef Brigade Tournament. We wait with bated breath to discover which incredible contestants will join the ranks of the brigade this year. Chefs, I implore you to search within yourselves and draw forth your deepest convictions and abilities. Tomorrow, the battles will commence. 
But for now, let us join together in celebrating the strength of our land and its people. Vive la Brigade! Attention! Rise and shine, soldier! <laughs> Instructor Russell! Mina Han, are you not feeling well? No, ma'am. I'm feeling great. Your fellow contestants have all gotten at least one match under their belts. Kurds! Fallen behind already? <laughs> you need to get moving, cadet. Yes! Wait, where do I even start? My dear, if you had just woken up in time, you would have caught the briefing. I'm so sorry, Instructor. There's no more time to lose. Get dressed and go warm up with Thorn at the Hunter's Guild. Y yes ma'am! Good afternoon. I was told to report here for warm-ups. Are you... Thorn? Maybe I was too suffocating for her. Uh, pardon? I mean, is 20 messenger doves one too many? Maybe it was the Manticore trophy I sent. I'm sorry, but are you the one in charge here? Um, oh, yeah. You're another tournament baby, aren't you? Give me a second to strap up my boots and we'll head to the arena and see what you're worth. Sh sure Oh, right. Forgot all about the drop kick.
Okay, you have your gold. I always- Or don't. Not many do. Most people are all about the coin, not about the hunt. Um, well, thank you for the instruction today. I'll put it to good use. Any news? How are things? Hey there, Blue! <laughs> so you're here to apply for the line order cook possession? My family owns a restaurant back home, so I've got some experience. I've never worked anywhere else, though. We'll get you into the swing of things here. Beat the tournament happening. I'm swamped for the customers from out of town. I'm also a bit short-stiffed, since two of my sous chefs are off trying to earn their things for the brigade. I'll do my best. Here at the Crescent, we prioritize the customer's time and hunger. Not everyone has the time or coin for an exquisite meal cooked by a real battle chef. That's where you come in, recruit. Your goal as a line order cook is to fill customers' orders as quickly as possible. For each order, all that matters is that the requested taste gem pattern is somewhere in the dish. Our pans here don't even get hot enough to upgrade taste gems, so don't make any big plans for grandiose dishes. Here, try this on for size. This looks so good! So delicious! Well done, recruit. <laughs> I do my best. Well, I hope you'll return. The Crescent could use a shave like you. Greetings.
Pecorino. Shoo, shoo. Stop eating my experiment. Is this a pet store? Settle down, miss, and have some tea. Bree, Fontina, get out of there. I'm Mina, by the way. Charm, Belchior, gastronomy wizard extraordinaire at your service. Wow, that's some title. What do you do here exactly? Well, my lady, I'm in the process of creating a super flavor enhancer. It'll accentuate the consumer's favorite flavors, so it'll be universally delicious. I'm calling it... Ambrosia! How are you going to make this happen? My experiment requires me to extract the essence of a hundred different dishes, but the progress is slow. I'm looking for assistance, but you'd be surprised how many people in town are allergic to cats. Well, it sounds interesting to me. Is it a paid job? Of course! I'm a professional! The Brigade funds all my research. So, how can I help? Most of my recipes are almost complete. I just need a hand finishing them up. Would... Done! You're a natural! Stop by any time you have a free moment. Hear that? It looks like Pecorino has taken a liking to you, and I'm sure he'd appreciate you visiting. Yeah, these two get quite tricky later on. Hello! Hi! This is it. This is an actual challenge.
Let's do this! Welcome, citizens and esteemed guests, to the inaugural day of this year's Proving Tournament. It is my great honor to preside over what will assuredly be a pulse-pounding centennial. The contestants before you have traveled from across Victusia to showcase their skills in the illustrious Kitchen Coliseum. Only an elite few will rise from the ranks and emerge as brigadiers. Let's hit! Mina Han loves dreaming up adventurous new dishes at her family restaurant. Hailed in her town as the Iron Stomach, she's sure to serve up intriguing creations. <sighs> My stomach's definitely not made of iron right now. Mina! Father of two and champion of orc fusion cuisine, Thrash's priorities are family, community, and good food. Few can stand before his might as the Benevolent Berserker! Yeah, show me what you got! Thrash! It's my pleasure to present our longest-running judge, Ambassador Akebo! You're too kind, Chairman. It's an honor and a privilege to sit at the judge's platform for the centennial. Ah, there's nothing like a dish with plenty of fire to invigorate the senses. People of Victusia, I struggled with the choice for today's theme ingredient for weeks before it came to me during meditation. Simplicity. One of King Heinrich's favorite monsters to hunt and eat, charging across the plains and forests in dangerous herds. Bowron! <laughs> Chefs, please place your dishes on the judge's platform within the time limit. Grace this kitchen with the best cooking you have to offer. Vive la Brigade!
Chef in the arena. We'll see who's laughing when I win. Yes. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. Wow! The flavor, it's outstanding. 114 wow I knew that The iron stomach's done it <sighs> Mina Han wins I did it Hey, you're really amazing, you know that? That was a fun match! I hope we get to battle alongside one another someday. Wow, thanks, Thrash. Jeez, my face is getting all red, isn't it? I want you to have this. It's from my home tribe. If you make it into the brigade and become famous, I don't want you to forget about old Thrash. This was only my first match. I'm gonna have to pace myself here. I haven't even realized till now that I'm hungry. I cooked all day and didn't eat anything for myself. <sighs> I'll eat a big breakfast tomorrow to make a... Look at her go. It's like a trash compactor. Mm -hmm. 
We're just admiring your appetite. You're like me. I could eat a whole food truck and still be a stick. What's a food truck? You're Mina Han, aren't you? I heard about the iron stomach at the opening ceremony. Oh, wow. No one in my village actually calls me that. Just my friend. I think the tournament committee tries to play everyone up. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> hey, now, don't say that. Having a stomach made of iron is pretty incredible. Mine's made of paper. Plus, you're here. And only the best of the best are in Capital City. We'll see. Either way, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Had a go? Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Graves to dig up. See ya! Oh, here. Catch! Huh. A metal trinket of some sort. What a strange guy. Welcome to the practice, Kitchen Cadet. Have you been here before? Yes. I fit in a quick practice match with Kieran and Thrash before the opening ceremony. A wise decision. Well then, you know that you're free to use this kitchen as long as you like. Practicing isn't a requirement, but if you're ever unsure of a new tool you've acquired or new tastes you've discovered, consider coming here before challenging someone. Makes sense to me. Good. I'm off to check in on the others. Best of luck, Cadet. That's it.
Prepare yourself. Oh, I'm prepared. I woke this morning reminded of a quote from the legendary chef Robichon. An ingredient is only as extraordinary as the chef who wields it. When I look at our contestants, I see the precision of their blades and the richness of 10,000 flavors boiling in their hearts. Extraordinary doesn't even begin to cut it. I cannot wait to see the wonders they have in store for our judge today. Riding on the winds of her first victory, the Iron Stomach is ready to claim another win. Mina! Our next contestant is a man who's as altruistic as he is intelligent. Leonid, the gift bringer! Artifice aside, I'm excited to test your skill. Leonid! That judge is headmistress of the prestigious Aurus Academia. Please welcome Instructor Meridane! You've no need to flatter me so. We'll soon discover just how competent these chefs truly are. Water is mercurial by nature. A chef that truly masters its flavor becomes as adaptive as the energy itself. It is... For today's theme ingredient, we look to a beast that has a heart of fire. Every hunter knows the fearsome... DRAGON! Oh god, not the dragon. <laughs> Vive la Brigade! Smear, but me half the time that they saw you get the dragon.
Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what our judge has to say about your efforts. Lovely. Delightful. The iron stomach clenches another hard fought victory. Therefore, we'd never get it, right? Nina Han wins! Alright! I'm honored we had this match, Miss Han. You will make a great battle chef someday. Please, take this as a sign of my faith in you. I can't handle all this formality. <laughs> Thanks for being so nice, Leonid. I'm sure you're going to get in the brigade, too. I'm closed for business today. Oh, I'm s Hold it. I'm just kidding. Maybe the caverns, deep in the mountains, where I can be warm, yet never have to see the outside world again. Jeez, what's with all the doom and gloom? And I thought I was hard on myself. What would a youngster like you know? Was that? Girl, you wouldn't happen to be versed in remedy foods, would you? Uh-uh. I'm sorry, Instructor. That sounds like something Kieran would know. She's usually around Belkior's workshop. A cat geezer, hmm? Cat geezer. A relief, not a headache giver. I should really study more recipes right now, but I'll just take a quick nap first. Hey, what you reading? 
Oh, I'm just perusing the new expertise tome I bought from Louie and Louie. <laughs> expertise? Yes, it's the study of a particular esoteric cooking style or technique. You should really take a look into some. Judges award bonuses for demonstrating the use of expertises. Here, you can have one of mine. I've got... Really? Wow, thanks, Kieran. You're welcome. If you don't mind, though, I have to get back to studying. Huh. <laughs> Your funeral? It's another glorious day in the Kitchen Coliseum, and our contestants are becoming more skillful with each dish they prepare. Much like the fire in our chef's hearts, the spirit of this tournament burns ever brighter. This small-town chef has become something of a crowd favorite. Please welcome the Iron Stomach, Mina! This cryptic competitor employs a band of skeletal sous chefs. He calls himself Ziggy, the fast food fiend. Who's ready to clog their arteries? Ziggy. The next judge is the famed Grand Matriarch, Asjil. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. Some chefs mistake Earth for the most simplistic energy, but its purity belies subtle complexities. Bring... Today we welcome back Ambassador Akebo to the judges platform. Ah, what a fine day for a match. I'm anxious to taste today's dishes. At the annual Fire Festival, local food stands make spicy kebabs that are out of this world. I'd like to see the contestants bring that kind of fiery flavor to today's challenge. Ha ha! In my youth, I refused to eat this beast's meat out of fear its curse would pass to me. Like our ancestors, I feared what I didn't understand. Luckily, our chefs today are fearless in the face of the unknown. Let's see what they can do with... Erskit! <laughs> Vive la Brigade!
did. Hey, Mina, you seen Jelly? Yes, you know why? Sometimes he likes to wander into other people's cookware and explode their creations. I'm sure it won't happen this time, though. Do it more for the fire. Gonna put me off. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's... My congratulations! Oh, quite delicious! There we go, 63 each on that. <coughs> this has specialty. Oh, very great. Could there be a curse? Uh. I knew there was something. Like if I go at like an extra point.
use that in there. Hey Mina, you seen Jelly? What? No, why? Sometimes he likes to wander into other people's cookware and explode their creations. I'm sure it won't happen this time. to get them at least perfect. Thank you for your hard work, chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. A travesty. <laughs> Last time he was fine with that, but that's like ridiculous. You're an inspiration! Is gonna cut that again? Wow. Oh, that that cut it.
Okay, just gave me 200 or uh, all that. Another stunning victory for the Iron Stomach. Mina Han wins. If I gave that dish, to, that guy's dish to the wrong one, I would not go with that. Sanitary for our line of work? Unsanitary. <laughs> Just because I get assistance from the undead doesn't mean I don't have standards. They wear gloves. I've heard stories about this kind of magic, but I thought it was evil. No offense. Huh. You and the committee. Apparently, I've got them all wild up. They want to add a new rule just to kick me out. Pretty boring culinary experts, if you ask me. They don't even want to put haunt cuisine in their mouths. Hmm, I understand their concerns. I got a jet, but look for me if you ever want to try home cuisine. I hear you're a brave soul. Um, sure. Thanks for the match. Si I'm scared to know what his food's made of. Everyone's cuisines are so different here. I'm going to have to give it everything I've got to make mine stand out. I bet Kiki and Simon would know what to do. They'd have a joke ready and everything. Instructor, good morning! Uh, am I in trouble? Is that what you think just from me showing up? I'm checking in with all the contestants. I'm sorry. Well, I have three wins on my belt now. Just four more to go. I've heard. Once you've completed that, you're cleared for the Proving Tournament's ultimate feat, Robichon's Trial. The three-round gauntlet against the Brigade's most talented chefs? I've been dreaming of it all my life! Are you prepared to face the final three? Thinking about it just gives me chills. I believe in you. Just keep working hard, Pumpkin. I've got others to see, but good luck today. Thank you, ma'am. Probably just take a break, don't I?